Do you want to sand like a pro? This is all you need to know for a consistent, high quality finish without wasting time. To keep this guide short and sweet, I'm leaving out explanations, but feel free to ask any questions in the comments below and I will answer them. Buy the best sander you can afford. We started with this setup, but I highly recommend upgrading to this setup as soon as you can. The difference is incredible. Now the opposite is true for sandpaper. Don't waste your time with the expensive stuff. We recommend Duragold. It's all we use. Dust collection is important. Buy any shop vac that allows you to use bags and get a hose kit just like this one. A minty setup for any sander. Okay, let's get into method. Today we are working on cherry butcher blocks, taking them from this to this. The first step is bulk material removal. So whip out your belt sander or switch your Rotex to grinder mode. Work down your high spots using 60 grit, feathering away so you don't grind a pit. Make sure to keep your sander flat or you'll regret it. This is when you'll want to use filler. Apply filler in thin coats and dry with a heat gun to fill big holes quickly. Random orbital time. Every step after this requires consistent sanding through the whole piece. Tyler prefers to make multiple passes quickly and I like one slow pass for every grit. Each pass needs to overlap with the last. Keep your sander flat. Work your way up the grits. Do not skip. Skipping grits is for chumps who like swirl marks and taking a long time. For most projects, you only need to sand up to 180 grit, and you can avoid using 60 grit on softer woods like cherry. Wet pop at least once. Your final grit is the only time you want to dig the edge of your sander in if you have a deep problem. Also, save the corner hits for the last grit. One last important detail, if your sander slows down, you're pressing too hard. Stay tuned.